All right, welcome everybody to How To Wednesday. I do this every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern time. If you're watching us live inside of the Facebook group, that means you see me up here somewhere pointing. Hello. If you see the little live button, come on over and join us at nowsite.online. Come on over and hang out with us here on Zoom. It'll be lots and lots of fun. I'm gonna tell you a bit about what's going to happen, okay? for uh, How To Wednesday. I always start off with uh, some kind of updates and things that you need to know, the current sale, stuff like that. We'll do a little tour walkthrough of uh, now site and then the big moment happens. You get to ask any question that you'd like about now site, politely, of course, raising our hands, getting in line, being respectful of one another. And you can ask any question that you want to live. But that comes, Dave, right? We do it in, in that order. I don't know if we're trying to get your hand raised before we get to the hand raising part, but we will get to the hand raising part, Dave, I promise. Okay. So things to know, things Just that you want to make sure I'm in the queue when it happens. I got you. He was like, I'm first. Look out. Um, let me share with you a bit of what's happening this week. If you're not sure where to find our calendar of events, you can go inside of your account. You can click on this bluish, I think it's a smiley face, just because that's what I see. It's a little smiley face down there. You click on it. You click on the section that says resources and here you're gonna see our calendar of events, which is amazing when it loads, okay? And in that calendar of, of events, we'll see all of the hot topics happening today. Is it me? Is it my internet? That's very slow. Possibly. All right, let's whoosh on down to the 27th. We had my AI live this morning. We have a how to Wednesday with me and you have live website and funnel building with our friend Serena Mays, who does a phenomenal job. Okay, that's today. Tomorrow, you see this fun mandatory affiliate training? That's happening tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time. Where is it happening, Coco? It's happening right here, okay? So make sure that you attend the fun mandatory affiliate training. I did put it inside of our group. I will send out uh, an email as well. You will get a reminder as well, but it always helps to see it, you know, every single time. I'm going to fill something in here for you. I do training every Tuesday and Wednesday at noon Eastern time. More times than not, right? About 99% of the time, there's something that's happening on Thursday, whether it's like a major announcement or a training or whatever it is uh, that includes our founder and CEO, Justin Bellababa. So what I can tend to do or what I would, you know, imagine would be a great practice would be, hey, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 12 noon Eastern time. Makes it simple. Okay. So this Thursday, fun mandatory affiliate training. We have lots of great stuff lined up for you guys. Um, you know, next kind of major uh, announcement for y'all, which is uh, pretty incredible. We have some special guests. We have our, our major announcement, which is awesome. And even more to share with you all tomorrow at 12. Sale also ends tomorrow, September 28th, or you can find all of the sale details that you can offer your new customers um, at september2023.now.site. If you're wondering where all the promos are, where the last like kind of big announcement is, it's always in the month and then the year. So you could always go and check there, right? So this month is September. Obviously, you didn't need me to tell you that, but it's September 2023.now.site, okay? In October, you guessed it, it'll be October 2023.now.site. And you can uh, update that off, often or check that as often as you like. And it has our most up-to-date information, okay? We're going to get inside of the product. We're going to talk about my AI. How many of you posted today using my AI? Hand up if you did. How many of you posted from your app? 
don't you do no <laughs> don't you show me your amazing flip android phone where's michael pendleton to tell us he did it from the bed this morning which was uh amazing and yeah i know Nina. good morning michael pendleton tuning in from the bedroom don't need to leave ever again. Michael <laughs> Pendleton, I swear, if you don't show up at the mandatory affiliate training with like a blanket. Yeah, I might do that too. Hello. <laughs> it's right. You're the greatest. No, 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 no. He will knit a blanket. <laughs> Please knit a blanket. I'll be under a blanket that I knitted. <laughs> and I'm taking orders. Before tomorrow. Um, Carol, is, will there be an invite to the affiliate training? What do you mean an invite? Like a link saying that, or we just have to log in? Or you just have to what? I'm sorry. Or log in, like how we come here. Like, is it's, there going to be like a... Is it like a special link or something? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, no special link. It's right here. It's a 12. I do post about it. I do send an email out about it. I announce it here. It's on our calendar too, but there's no special different link. It's on this link right here. Is it possible also, can you share the support link? Because I was having trouble with something and I needed the support. Support it now that site. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I got you. Okay, support at now that site. Okay. Um, we're going to get into the product. We're going to get to posting. If you are on an Android phone, this is your time to shine. That means you're going to go to your Google Play Store. If you haven't done so already, you're going to download or update the Now Site Marketing app. You're going to have a blast and you're going to post right from your app. After you do that, you're going to go and give us the five-star rating and say, wow, this app is the greatest. Okay. Don't forget that last part. All right, so make sure that you go to the Google Play Store and you follow along, okay? Don and Don Karen was like, I'm faster than you, Coco, hush it. So you're gonna get into your account if you are not on your phone. You're gonna click on create a social post and you can decide how you want to post. Maybe that's caption and suggested image. Maybe that's captioning your own image or maybe it's just a bit of short text. I'm going to ask for a caption and suggested image. And today I'm going to ask for an inspiring uh, post, maybe from a favorite author. Okay, that's all I'm going to put. I'm going to see what it returns uh, for me. And I'm going to click on generate. Now it's going to generate me a great social post for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and X. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can uh, post on both, okay? Or a few of those platforms while it's thinking. All right, so drum roll, please. <clears throat> Here we go. Don't you just love it when your favorite author can inspire you with their words? Let me share one of my favorite. Quotes from How to Win Friends and Influence People by John Maxwell. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. That's great. Um, that's John Maxwell. I'm going to go right on over to LinkedIn. I'm going to click to get started. I'm going to follow the directions here to post. And then I'm going to start a post. I'm going to paste. I'm going to upload the media from my... Um, computer and I click on next and then post. Okay. So that's how easy it is to post using my AI. I love the great surprise me button as well. Um, how many of you love the surprise me button? Love it. Use it often. I'm just like, well, you know what? I mean, I know it takes a little bit, but just surprise me. I'm good with the surprise. So um, that's awesome. If you've been getting incredible uh, results, let me see it here in the chat using um, my AI. Let me see it here in the chat. Would love to give you a shout out uh, for getting those incredible results. 
Anybody want to share or put it here in the chat? Me? Well, tell me a bit about about a bit about it. My AI. Okay, I want to share with you um, a bit before we move on and get to the questions. This is okay. All right. So these two guys are great. Um, if you do not know Brahim Lark and Miles. You should get to know them. They've been with us for quite some time, I think since 2019. <clears throat> These guys are some of my um, actual best friends. They're amazing. And they kind of do everything together, which is great. Um, they are uh, wonderful people here at Now Site, but this was so much fun. So the other day I saw uh, Brahim post, I call him Heen. So um, I saw him post a, uh, you know, rising creator, digital creator. He, it says, congratulations, Raheem Lark, you've earned a top spot in the top 5% of rising creators this week. I was so stoked, right? I go to the post. He's like, my AI. Awesome. Great. Not like a minute later. <laughs> I see Miles. It's like, oh, yeah, he, hold on a second. He posts that uh, he got a congratulations from Facebook too, and that he earned a top spot as a rising creator. So this is the image. Uh, I have them both. I thought that it was great. And I wanted to say congratulations to both of you guys who are amazing. And um, I just thought it was so funny. Like, man, these guys can't do anything without the other one, which is awesome. And I love you guys. So um, shout out to both of you and congrats for getting incredible results. I don't know if you want to share, um, Heem always on the edge of a seat ready. Do you want to share a few words there, Heem? Um, no, it's just, this is just made posting so much easier and, and so much, just so much better. Cause you can, you can say what you want to say, but like in a more, I don't know, a, a fancy way, I guess you can, you can put it, but like I've been using, I've been using, even before my AI came out, I was using all of our, just our AI chat for posts damn near every day. So, um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just awesome, man. And, um, and, and my content's been a lot, a lot better. I guess people are engaging with it more. So just, hmm. just cool, not, man. You not, too. Not, not to jump in, but also, so me and Raheem have, we have went ahead and started a uh, a brand new Instagram channel up just to do it for like content creation. And um, literally like every post that we create, we use our AI bot to, I mean, we've been doing it for months. I had, you guys <laughs> haven't been seeing me on these meetings, but I've been using it because like, I don't <laughs> post without it because it, it, it creates words and thoughts that I wouldn't even be intelligent enough to think of personally, you know, mm -hmm. and when it creates them I, and, and you put it up. So for instance, um, me and Linda, right. Uh, my fiance, Linda Hernandez, um, we just celebrated 20 years together on September 7th. Right. Um, thank you. Heen. So, and, and, and with that being said, I created a post for her for our anniversary. And it was this, you know, this big, long, I would have never created a post that long. But when I read it, I was like, man, this is, this is good. Like, this is, this is really good. So I put it up and it, what blew my mind was one of the comments. Like, so if you go on my Facebook post and you look at that post, go down to comments. It's, it's right there. Anybody go look it up. There's a woman on there, a friend of mine. And she's like, Miles. Oh my God, this is how, you know, uh, uh, this is how men need to speak about their women. Every woman needs to look at what you're saying and take a page from your book and get them a man like you. Linda, so, I mean, it was, she wrote like two paragraphs herself, you know, I could tell she didn't use our software to write it neither, but it was good. And when I saw it, I was like, dang. So I, I, I took a screenshot of it. I sent it to Linda. I was like, oh, look at that. Comment I got on my post, you know, and Linda got on me. She was like, "Did you write that, or did you have the AI write it?" I was like, "Well, I had the AI write it, but I tweaked it a little bit, but I had the AI write." It. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all. So, and I want to say this. I just want to say this too. This is I was thinking about doing Facebook Live today about this. So, 
there was a whole crypto era in 2009, 2010, right? Where Bitcoin was big and throughout the years, right? People making money off Bitcoin. Like we're in an era right now of artificial intelligence, right? AI, everything. You're, you're talking about uh, uh, prompted generated um, videos, images, posts for social media, right? So it's really amazing that we have this, to use this. I mean, my brother-in-law lives in Florida. He's like this, the, the, the top manager of this huge dentist firm. And he was over here. They, we had them over at our place. And when he was staying here, he had this, um, this speech he had to do in about a month. So I told him, I was like, dude, you got to check out this. Ad. And, and I just hit the microphone and I said, what does your speech have to be about? I hit the microphone. He said it and it wrote this thing. And he was like, oh my God. Miles, what is this? And I was like, dude, it's AI. Uh, and then, so it just, and Brahim, how many times have you used it for your job? Just like we talk all the time. Just... Every day. I, I, yeah. Like, I, I'm literally just using it right now, dude. Like, yo, check it out. Hold on. I'm on my, uh, I'm on my work computer right now. I'm getting formulas for my, uh, for my Power BI report. I, I, like, I, I, I use it every day. Uh, every day for and it, it don't even got to be for marketing you know what i mean shout out the now site appreciate y'all man it's all y'all came a long way y'all doing your thing right now y'all cooking with grease <laughs> miles i appreciate you i miss you so much thank you for sharing fam give it up for miles and he our dynamic duo i miss you guys thank you so much for hopping on and sharing uh Look, Miles, I saw that post too and was like, maybe, maybe we have a little help from that AI, that anniversary post. I love it, though. So you guys are the best. Um, I'm teasing you. Linda is fantastic. Happy anniversary, by the way. Okay. So um, this is awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you're getting incredible results, you can go to myaireports.now.site and submit your results. Congratulations to Tula there uh, as well. Um, somebody asked me if I can go through posting on LinkedIn again and kind of go slower. So here is a, a post for LinkedIn. So I'm going to click to get started. Click to post. Oh, no, this is Facebook. Hold on. LinkedIn. Click get started. <clears throat> Follow the directions here. Post. You do something really simple, okay? You're gonna paste and you're gonna add the media and you are going to go and choose the image that was given to you, click next and then post. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It tells you all the way through it. If you have not done it, try it. Try it. I don't know what you're waiting for. Try it. It is that simple. If you're what, how do you do it? Try it. Click it. Click it. Try it. Okay. It's awesome. Um, Tula says my interactions increased by 258%. That's awesome. Congratulations, Tula. It's nice to see you. Uh, how do you find the image that was given to you? Carl, it's in your downloads folder. It goes there automatically. One of the things that I find, right? <clears throat> here when I click to get started re do you all see this pop-up that happens right here do y'all see it Kim do you see it there's probably somebody right now that's not reading it if you're wondering where is the image the answer is here it's always given to you your text is now copied to your clipboard and your image has been downloaded Go to LinkedIn and create a new post. Paste the text. Add the image from your computer's downloads folder. Then click post. So where is the image? It's in your computer's downloads folder. Cool. All right. Now is the time you can, Dave, hurry up, Dave. Put your hand up, Dave. <laughs> you put your hand up, Dave. Dave, put your hand up. Um, Cracking up, I'm teasing Dave. Put your hand up. We are going to uh, get your questions answered. Dave, I'm teasing you. I know Dave had his hand up first. And then we're going to get to the um, line and answer all of 
your questions. Um, Dave, did you have a question? I'm teasing Dave. Uh, I, I did. I, I do. Not I did. I do. Right? Okay. So I, I signed up for a Gmail business account, which supposedly gives me 2,000 emails a day. Okay. I created a like a four email campaign. Uh huh. Every email has been returned. You have reached a limit for sending mail. So it was okay. not sent. Is it brand new? Yeah. It's probably because you don't, Gmail, like every time you send an email, you get like a reputation too on your, and you build up the reputation in order to be able to send 2,000 emails out. So it's probably Gmail kind of cutting you off like, hold up, this is new. Are you sending really all of these emails? So I, I paused everything. It still huh? sent out 51 today, right? So probably um, you, yes. So, and when I go, when I follow the so-called, because Gmail doesn't have any online support, right? Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all, uh, it's all bots, right? Yeah. When I follow their instructions on mm -hmm. my super admin account, which is me, right? Yeah. I don't see a reactivate button. So when I did this on, and then yesterday, of course, the reason I wasn't here is, I don't know, in Toronto, the internet was down all over the, all over, right? Okay. Uh, so I went, I, on Monday, I paused the first two, not three and four. I probably should have paused them all, right? Okay. Um, and then I waited 24 hours and I sent a test to myself. It still got rejected as exceeding the limit. Okay. So I don't. So if I go to my now site account, I'll tell you right now, right? Wait, what oh, is the question, read. Dave? What's the question? How do I fix it? So you're asking me a question specifically about Gmail and how to fix the Gmail account, which I, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert in Gmail. However, our support will probably do a better job taking some time and looking it up for you. So I would ask. Okay, that. but I call, I sent an email to support. <laughs> And never got on Monday and never got a response. We usually do. Uh, it usually does not take us that much, that long to respond. I'll check on it for you. They're probably going to say that they did. I would check spam check everywhere. Um, but just follow up with the email and say, hello, can I get a response here? Okay. Yeah. Because if I can't send, honestly, if I can't send the emails. I get it. I know the question. They're this gonna isn't really, this and, isn't helping me. They're going to say, use an email account that you have. That, right? That's what I was going to say. Is, is, <laughs> have you tried it from an established email account? Mm -hmm. Well, I only have my personal, and I wanted to keep them separate. I got well, you. you have to start warming it up, so start sending yeah. some stuff out. You're going to have a problem if it's a brand new account. It's not, it's, you're, you're well, always going warm to. Warm it up in the uh, words of Linda. Yeah, yeah warm it up. <laughs> warm it up. I like it. But I like if I can't it. even, if I can't reactivate it, I can't even warm it up. Start a new one. Gmail accounts are free. Do it again. I was going to say, okay, do thing. I have to create okay. a new business account with my new Gmail, new uh, email address? Why are you creating a business account? Just create, just create the, uh, the um, Gmail. Yeah. Well, because it's, uh, you know, Somebody told me that if I'd be able to send out 2,000 emails if I have a business any. account. So you what? can't send out any, and our limitation is still going to be 500 a day. It's not going to increase to 2,000. So I'd say use the account where you can send out 500 and warm up that account so you can send out even a few because that's you know not working. So I take the advice from the people who are sending emails every day, like DePaul and Linda and Heath. Okay, so one la I'm gonna ask one last question, and then I'll and then I'll let somebody else go. <laughs> so, right? So yeah. I have like 350 email, you know, leads in my in my list. Uh huh. To keep it small, right? Uh huh. To start, like for the first few days, how do I parse it out? So, do, can I 
create sublists of those 350, 50 or 60 at a time, and then send them out? Um, sure, you can duplicate a list and then delete some people from the list. Sure. You can uh, add multiple email accounts, but now we're getting into multiple email accounts that you can use where one would send from one, one would from another so that you don't have so many in one list too. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But even if I do that, so, and I create the original, send, get, send out the original email, and then the second one goes out two days later, the third one goes out yeah. five days later, the third, fourth one goes out eight days later. Yeah. It's cumulative. So today I send out 50, uh -huh. tomorrow I send out 50, but on, on, uh, on Friday, the second email starts. So now I'm sending out 100. Right. Yeah. So split your list or create another list and create another email. Can I use the same, same AI generated email, even though I'm sending now to five yeah. different lists? Sure. Okay. I will try that and I will let you know next Tuesday. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Steve. Thank you. Sorry to, <laughs> sorry to dominate, but. If I, as I said, if I can't send emails, then look, I'm dead in the water. Look, sometimes like I'm going to be just pretty blunt. Sometimes we're determined, right? And I'm not saying this, you know, specifically to you, Dave. But sometimes we're determined to do things in a way that makes it more difficult when we're literally sitting in front of the people that are able to do the things without just determined to say, I don't want to do it that way. We're looking at people like Linda, like Brahim, like DePaul, like Miles that are like, look, I set up my email account this way. This is the way that I'm able to send emails every single day. So it would be a great idea to just, hey, let me, you know, uh, get get off of the like, hey, I want to send up a business account. I need to do it this way. I need to, And let's take the advice of the people who are actually being able to send emails without saying, if I can't send emails, we know you can send emails because there's a bunch of people that are doing it. We just need to follow the way in which we're sending them. So not to dominate right back, but um, I have a tendency to as well. I'm gonna move on to okay. Evan. Thanks. For sure. Um, Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Caption this image, I can do. Then we're gonna move on to Dr. Lisa too. But Peggy says, can you go to social and go through the steps for caption my own image? So of course. I'm going to share my screen right here, right? And here's the caption, my image. Now, let's say you have a great selfie or maybe even a food pic. I, I actually do have one. I'm going to send it to myself here in Slack. Just give me one second, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a bit about this uh, wild experience. So hold up, promise, it's coming. Okay. Now he, I know he is already going to be cracking up at this. All right. So has anybody ever been to, um, what do you call that place where you make the fondue? What's that place called? Melting pot. Yeah. He, melting pot with the kids. Man. Wild. Okay. Describe your <laughs> Great. <laughs> Food at the melting pot. That's my image. Okay. So it's just a picture of great food at the melting pot. What do you want the post to be about? Um, this was more than just uh, dining out. The, the, uh, this was an entire experience um, at the melting pot. Something like, how do you undo it right? I don't know, like, is it fun? <laughs> I think I'm funny. Okay, I'll show you guys the picture of uh, fondue here in a minute, but I'm going to ask it to generate a post about fondue. I'm just, if, you know, anybody ever been to fondue with um, five kids? You're making me hungry. <laughs> it was. <laughs> um, this that makes two of us. This was more than just dining out. It was an entire experience at the melting pot. Fondue it, right? Um, 
I'm going to go to Instagram. I'm going to click to get started. I'm going to post to Instagram just for fun. I'm going to click to create. Ah, create. I'm going to select from my computer. And here, did I, did I download it yet? No, I didn't yet. Hold up. Download. All right. This is wild. I'm just saying the whole thing. Okay. So <laughs> this is us trying to cook our own food at the fondue, at the melting pot. Here we go. Um, that's my caption. And I'm going to click on share. And that's how you would caption your own image. So hopefully um, <laughs> that helps out. I hope it does. Look, if I was, I'm going to tell you something that is absolutely 100% true. So I have a bunch of these pictures of fun doing on the, my phone, right? I'm like, what are we doing? We're fun doing. And I'm, you know, having a party and I'm thinking I'm having tons of fun, but I don't want to take away from the moment that I'm in. And the entire time I'm thinking of something fun to say about the experience at the melting pot and fondue. And look, I just like, wasn't in marketing mode or that mode at that time. So I couldn't think of anything. And at that time, it would have been so great if I just had the app and just did that so I can get the post out there. Right. And it would have been done. But now I'm just sitting on great content sitting in my phone about fondue. Right. That would have been really relatable to, to somebody. I could have really expanded on it. But instead I took the pictures and was like, I really can't think of something right now. I'm going to put it away. Like I'm with the kids. Right. So imagine if I had the phone, it would have taken me two seconds to be like, Hey, give me a great description of fondue night, you know, or fun doing or whatever. So yeah, and imagine if you had an Android. Right. <laughs> question Cheryl so if you wanted to generate regenerate that and have it say something new is that option available there as well so yeah um here so this is it right so I can click on generate again like I'm like ah, I don't know or I can generate you know a new post for it I can go to the AI editor um this was more than dining out. This was an entire experience at the Melting Pot Fondue, right? See if the AI editor, right? I can add some more specific instructions. I can make it shorter. I can make it longer and kind of regenerate. We'll see. And then I can, of course, uh, add my own stuff to it. But woo, that's, that's, definitely long i'm a short po there's no way i'm ever like that would be a lot for me to write about fondue i might write that about my kids but not about fondue or maybe sharing the experience with the kids but that that would be one way to do it and i think for a lot of us here we probably have an experience where we're like you take uh, ladies you, like you take a great selfie there's some great light and you're like mal i'll get to that later or you're hanging out or you take a picture or whatever. And you're like, I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. Because you don't want to take away from the moment that you're in. The the app is uh, awesome. Yes, I know. Same boat, iPhone. And for all of you amazing Android users with incredible flippy flip-flop phones, awesome to you. Okay, Dr. Lisa, what's happening? Okay, so I happen to have an Android. Mm -hmm. I don't have skin in the iPhone. I have a I have an iMac, so I don't have a lot of skin in the debate. But I am okay. I want to thank you for being our outfitter and our guide. I just thought about mountain climbing, you know, and you need the outfitter where you get all the gear, and that's the software. But you need a guide, so you thank you for being our guide. So I'm trying to be a guide for someone that works on an iPad and okay. an iPhone. Uh -huh. And um, copy and paste is a challenge sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, and we, we're persistent, you know, uh -huh. figuring out how to save the draft and do the, you know, whatever. But uh, I was just wondering if, you, if, if that's a thing that yeah. iPads are hard to work with or. Okay iPad in general, yes, especially if you're like, you know, 
app storing it or Safari. You can download other web browsers like Chrome to your iPad. I'm not saying that you're going to have the greatest experience in the world, but I'm saying you'll have a better experience than you're having right now. Okay. As far as the phone, we need to wait until we get the app, but I also use a Chrome browser uh, on my phone. Don't hit DePaul. Don't be sending me messages later. Like you see why you're using Chrome. You see what's happening here. Blah, 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 with your iPhone. <clears throat> I'm just saying that would be the, <laughs> Don't be side-eyeing me. That would be um, my recommendation to you, Dr. Lisa, is I would um, <clears throat> download the Chrome browser. Cool. Thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll try. Like yeah. I said, she, copy and paste is tough sometimes. So. <laughs> but we get it done. We get it done. I'm like, it might take three hours, but we get a post done. So. Don't get a post out of you yet. Let's go. All right. Um, great to hear. Thank you, Dr. Lisa. Uh, we have Fred downtown. Uh, Fred, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. Super, super fantastic. Thanks for taking my call. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of quick questions. One, these rec recordings, how can we get access to them if we want to re review them or end or past trainings like this? Great question. Okay, ready? Um, we're going to go and we're gonna do it to get there. Let me show you. Okay, so this is inside of our Facebook group. When See I've it? Seen, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Whether you're on mobile or on desktop, there's a search for inside of the group. You can search just inside of the group. You see this little, um, what is this thing? Magnifying glass? Okay. See it right here? Yes. Click it. And then say how to uh, Tuesday, I don't know, or Wednesday and hit enter, okay? It's gonna give you all the search results and it'll be like how to Tuesday, July 11th, June 27th, how to Tuesday, September 19th, June 13th. And it'll go on and on and on. So if you ever want recording. Could you drop in the chat the, um link for the Facebook, because I'm not 100% sure if I, I've joined the Facebook group or not. Okay, sure thing. Oh, one yeah. sec. Let's do it. Uh, share, copy link. There you go. Cool. All right, second question is, I did receive some commissions, affiliate commissions, and I huh? did connect my wallet, but it says there, um, like $196 available for, but it says zero. So how do I get paid? Does it say withdrawal? It just says uh, on the, all the way to the left, it says what I'm entitled to. And then it's, but it says zero in the, I guess, withdrawal or all the way on the right. So I don't know what. what so the Was that from last month or this month? Thank you, he. Was that from last month or this month? <laughs> this this month, probably. Yeah, this month. So you get paid on the fifteenth of next month. Just make sure you attend the fun mandatory affiliate training tomorrow. Michael Pendleton. Um, Michael Pendleton is fantastic. He's been with us for forever. Basically, what that means is he's been putting up with me for years. Um, just like Michael Pendleton said, you get paid from the first or you get paid on the 15th of the next month. So everything that you do in September, you're paid October 15th. Make sure that you attend the fun mandatory affiliate training tomorrow, um, at 12 noon Eastern time. And then you'll, um, get some code words and it'll on the 15th, you'll be able to withdraw your funds. And so it's going to be on the same uh, right here. Now, now site. Dot yeah. online. Okay, tomorrow okay. at 12. Okay, yep. that's super. That's good to know. Um, okay. Could you just, if if you do get a response, like someone connects with you and you want to send them a Facebook response, like they connect with you, they friend you and you uh -huh. want to use your AI, I was uh -huh. having tr trouble to navigate that. What? what yeah. Uh, 
So this will soon be a built-in feature where if somebody connects with you or if someone comments on a post or likes a post, and I probably shouldn't be sharing this maybe a bit early, um, that our AI will craft a message given the situation perfectly for that person, right? Thank you so much for liking my post or thank you so much for the friend request and continuing to, of course, uh, create the conversation. Until then, inside, uh, when is that coming? Kathy is screaming at me, Coco, when is that coming? Um, look, I, I'm probably not supposed to say, which is just, you know, I'm giving away the beans, a spill in the beans. I would say probably by October 15th, okay? Um, <clears throat> but you didn't hear that here. All right, um, moving on. <laughs> look, inside of your account here, uh, let me see, okay inside of your account, just like this. You still have access to chat with your AI. You can chat with your AI here. You can click on AI and this is your AI chat. If, don't pay attention to my ridiculousness, but um, here you can say, hey, I just connected with somebody on Facebook. Can you give me a great response? Whatever it is, you can always ask inside of the chat here for it to provide you a wonderful response if you'd like until the feature is available. And last question, um, I went to my email and I have, I guess, an email list uh -huh. of people. I don't quite know how I got that list because I didn't get, it wasn't like a, um, I got a text on my phone where they entered their information on my landing page, but one, I've, like I said, I don't quite know how I got that list. I got like maybe 20 people. And mm -hmm. what would be the next step to create a, a email campaign? And, yeah. and maybe you can go over that. How so you... I would create an email campaign, which you could do uh, inside of your account, right? And here I'm gonna go to marketing email, okay? And let's say that I created an email campaign just like, uh, I'm trying to find one with a couple emails in it. This one, okay? Say I have an email. And now I wanna send it to a list. You already have the list, it includes 20 people. You can just go to the list, okay? Pick a list, I don't wanna actually pick one, but pick a list, add the list, and then click send and whatever email campaign that you've created, you can send to that list. All right, thank you. Cool, great questions. All right, we're gonna end it today because we got lots to get through in the next 15 minutes. Suzanne, yes. Okay, uh, just real quick, um, you can hear me right. Okay, um, I, is there an actual live person that you can connect with or is it all through the chat? All through the chat and email. Okay with the support at yep. now, now site. Okay. And then as far as um, this Facebook group that you just mentioned, is that just for affiliate? Is that a separate one for, like, if I'm looking at trainings, I don't want it for affiliate. I just want regular trainings. You well, know, this training isn't specifically for affiliates. It's just a customer training. Anybody can go to it. It just so happens to live in that group. So anybody's invited to that group. You don't have to be an affiliate to be in there. We do share affiliate things in that group though, but it's not all affiliate stuff. Okay. And when we, um, when we do our post that that's going, I mean, we have to set it up where it's going to a personal page. Is that, or a business page or both? Which one for what? Well, if, can we set it up where it goes to the personal page and then that's where it gets post it or what about the business page you you just for me you just saw me post to all personal pages right mm -hmm. that I was posting to however right here I'll show you well if you have a business page you probably already know this you don't need me to tell you but before you post just change the profile Because you're just posting, right? Before you mm -hmm. post, if you want to post to your business page, just change to your business page. Oh, so whatever's open is where it's actually going to? Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't realize. Yeah. So you could do it both places. 
um, sure. as long as long as the page was open. Yep, you can do it and then do it again. Okay, got it. And oh. on the Android phone, it's actually even easier because it gives you the option. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn. I don't have an Android. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> iPhone, but thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> okay, so one other question. Yep. It'll be brief because I know you got to move on, but um, if I get, when I'm getting a few names for referrals, mm -hmm. is that, I mean, is AI just looking at my basic information I've put into the system and then they're finding people? Because there was one that I got in the very first stage, you know, it was like first week or two and it didn't seem like it was appropriate at all. You know, I was just kind of curious. Well, you determine what uh, prospect, is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Prospect. Determining what prospect you get by the criteria that you put in. So you can change the criteria anytime that you want and get different prospects. Okay. So that's on the marketing part. Then prospecting, right? When you're prospecting, right. Um, right. You can change the criteria of the prospect whenever you want to. Okay, and that was not on that was under contacts. Yep, contacts, prospects, okay. change the criteria whenever you'd like. Okay, I haven't even really played around with that yet, but I was just curious. And then, um, and then if you get a prospect, um, I noticed that they connected to like say if they're on LinkedIn or wherever mm -hmm. the, that prospect is, um, is that where you would? put something that's a little more less generic you know just because it said you know hey I think we have something in common but I I just think those types of connections don't really mean much you can change the message to include whatever you want yeah so you just put some more okay yeah okay um yeah I think those are the basic things thanks the, the Facebook group that we have is just for anyone that's there, that one you gave the link to okay yep. anyone okay thank, thank you, you. Nice mm -hmm. to talk to you. yeah um, linda hey hey cheryl i i first want to say i love this this is amazing i'm um, being more consistent i think it's you know thank you thank you thank you um it's just amazing product um, I was using the app just as we were on this call, and this is what came up, which is a little confusing to me. So I don't know if I need to go back and if you can go into the chat, you can see it. Um, I put a picture of what it generated. It's talking about emojis and check out my new product that makes life easier. I, I don't get the post. Try again. Okay, so is it something like I need to go, but I, do I need to go back into my personality profile? Because I guess we can do that now. That's available to change some of that stuff to get it to be more, because this isn't the first time it's kind of like. It's one post, uh, like take us, just click regenerate or choose a different uh, thing to write about, right? Like what, what was your description? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what I typed in there, but sometimes it'll just type in exactly what, like I type. And are you using what you did with the with the with the melting pot? It kind of just put the exact it depends on what you describe as your image too. And it okay. depends if you have it set to long or short. So maybe you put did you put I use emoji sometimes? No. As your description or check out our new no, product? but I do have the emoji thing over far. <laughs> you know the a yeah. toggle so maybe that's why i picked that up but chandra says uh keep training and it gets better uh that's great thank you chandra i would that's keep... kind of what i was I... thinking so yeah mm -hmm. okay. i think it's like um you know to to chandra or barbara who's like you can go in and update your ai i think probably there's uh, a type right like you're like okay let me go in let me train my ai i wanted to you know what I, i'm like okay great i didn't like that one i'll regenerate like i'm so over <laughs> so quickly like i'm like ah regenerate regenerate you know and then i'm like okay i like this one and i'll move on because it's that much faster for me but i understand like 
hey, if you see that there's something consistent about it, yeah. um, then retrain your AI. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank sure. you. For sure. Uh, Jennifer, hey, what's happening? Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Um, I kind of did get some of my questions answered a little bit while you were talking, um, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, there's still just a lot of things that I don't know how to use or how to do. And so I was trying to get my, um, I think when I did my whole onboarding and everything, I didn't like have my LinkedIn link and I didn't have like my Instagram link and things like that. And so now I'm like, oh, can I do this from the app? Because obviously those, those, uh, you know, apps are on my phone more so than on my computer. And so now I'm like, well, how do I get my, you know, my link to go on to my now site? Um, for LinkedIn and everything. I'm still learning the LinkedIn and the Instagram. I mean, I just, do you have an Android? You know, do you have an Android? I do. Did you try it? Um, yeah, I, what I did was I went to my LinkedIn and I think that I went, how did you try to post? Oh yeah, I have posted, but I've only posted on my Facebook. Did you try posting to LinkedIn? No. It'll right open up LinkedIn. Get out. It already knows my LinkedIn link. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. there you go with uh, with uh, AI. Um, okay. Um, the other thing was, I know that I've kind of asked you this before, and I tried to go back and find it again uh, where you showed me, but I'm like, I wait. You uh, hello? I did not mute you. You're muted. You're muted. No, I did it. I did it to myself. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so yeah, you had showed me before a little bit about, uh, setting up a email marketing campaign and like the, the things that are already in there. So there's two things about it. One is that I had, um, put all of the names and, um, and email addresses like in a, in an Excel sheet. And I didn't know if I can like cross that over into, um, or do I have to do it each individually? That I upload was, a CSV. Say it again. You can upload a CSV, yes. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know what that is, but I'll have to figure that one out. Um, the other thing is when you did show me before in there um, where all my stuff was, like to send out an email campaign and everything. I I didn't completely understand like um, where it is, how to get to it, and how to set it up. I uh, and um, so that's the only thing I, and I don't know, maybe there's some where you can okay, send, okay, be okay. able to do it. Hold yeah. On. Jennifer, how, how long have we known each other here? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's been months now. Great. Okay. I'm going to smile for a second, Jen. All right, Jen, you're going to come back to how to Tuesday. You can't like, look, uh, I'm saying this because out of love, Go post on Facebook, go post on Instagram, go post a couple of things, then come talk to me about email and the other things that you cannot do because I need you to accomplish one thing. Yeah. And then well, I just have all these people that I have to like deal with because of one of my affiliate companies. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't even, and I'm, and I'm going to Europe and I'm just, you know, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Fine. I'm trying to get it all one, thing, one thing at a time. One step. Yeah. At a time. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks, Cheryl. Sure. Nah, yes. Yay. Hello. <laughs> so my now AI, I freaked me out yesterday. You know how you have to start a new chat because you maxed out on your now AI. You know, your AI. Yeah. And so I had to start a new chat. And then when I went back and asked, what's my bio, my motto, and everything got wiped out. I mean, it didn't even know. Where at? On your app or in your thing? No, on the computer. On the computer. Um, just ask support because it shouldn't do that. No, and then it went back this morning, so it came back. So which okay. is something happened, whatever. But just wanted to let you know. Um, my question on the app itself, it, there is no generate, correct? Because right now the, I don't see the button in the Android for generate. It just has the caption and, and et cetera. You mean the AI editor? Not the editor, but you know how when on your computer it says uh, surprise me? There's no surprise me. Okay. That's what you're sure. There's okay. no surprise me in the app right now. <laughs> And then second question or is that on the bulk, you know how when you generate a website, it creates a list for you? Yes. Right? So now I have all these crazy lists because I was generating websites as demo. And now how do I delete mass 
delete for that? Because right now I have to go through each one and delete. Is there a mass delete function? No. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Uh, Ariel, uh, hopefully I'm saying your name right. If not, please correct me. You're muted though. Can you hear me now? Not, not you today. Um, Ariel, hopefully I'm saying his name right. Hello. You're muted or we can't hear you or your um, voice is not connected. Just scream out if you get it. Shade. Yes. Hey, what's happening? Okay. So, um, <laughs> I've been on here for a little while now. Um, I have not been posting, so I just took your tidbit, what you said from the last lady. I will start to post consistently, so next weekend I can ask more questions about the whole business side, because I do want to do the whole, um, more of, like, the lead generation and, like, the whole business portion, um, but my question about my current page is, I have a personal Facebook that I've actually been posting on. So do I have to tr actually recreate a business profile instead to do this? No, should be posting okay. on a personal page. So I seen when you had like a whole list of like different Coco's this, Coco's that thing. So if I don't want it to talk about a specific subject related, um, I just want to say something like very general. Am I supposed to like create another profile for um, my AI no. to do that? No, I don't bring any profile into play when I post. But when I do post from there, it always brings up my life insurance business as opposed to if I just want to post general like I put in inspirational just now when I tried to post and you I put in um, profile cho chosen no did, did you basically like train your AI to like all about life insurance no I, I actually did it on four different subjects so that's why I was a little a little um that's why I wanted to ask the question because I was like why is it talking okay, what's your email address um, Shade Hodge dot SFG at gmail.com. Should she unselect those two buttons that says respond like me? While you're doing that, Cheryl, may I ask a question? Oh, I, I, I see the hands raised. I'll wait. <laughs> I got no time to. Okay. This is your surprise me post. And I'm going to say, Shade, have you ever shared anything with the AI that you don't necessarily share publicly? Um, yeah, like I, I haven't really started posting about my business just yet, except for this last one I just posted. I was like, okay, let me just go for it. Whatever. No, 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 that's not the question. The question is, have oh, you shared with your AI anything that you would not share publicly? So this one doesn't really have... Uh, Join me in serving. Okay. I can already tell here. I'm going to go to here. Okay. So the protecting families, empowering future sounds a, a bit about a uh, business. Right. So when you were training your AI, you probably mentioned quite a bit about in business, business you want to make with your life, like your goal was around your life insurance business. Yeah. Yep. So when I was saying, when you trained your AI, did you talk a, a lot about your life insurance business? The answer is I, yes. Um, <laughs> so here, look, um, after losing, blah, 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 motivated by the experience, but your mission, stuff there, recognizing, build a strong team. You also recruit, mentor 20 new insurance agents. You have set the ambitious goal. So if it is to you too much centered around business, Right. I like to tell people to think of it like this. You have one profile. You can uh, one profile. That's you. You may ask to reset the onboarding and go through it and talk less about that business and more about personal experiences that you want to share online. And then in the business profile section, right, do all of the things about your business so that when you post specifically, right, you can add the business profile to your then personal profile. And you, know, you can also go in that section and say, and don't make it about business. Yeah. You can talk to AI just like it's another person. 
If you don't know what's going on in the now site, you can say, can you tell me how to create an email? Yeah. It knows everything. Just ask it. Okay. So basically when I create the post, um, pretty much just say, I want to talk um, not about business. <laughs> an inspirational. Yeah. Cause when I did that, I didn't put that last part. That's probably why. <laughs> you can ask, in the words of Michael Pendleton, you can ask it anything. Okay? I do. It's a, not a, that a just like it's a, another person. Exactly. It's a person. I love it. Um, Shade, I'm going to keep this up, but I have to move on because I only have a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go to Karen and Dorothy. Karen. Hey, Cheryl. Happy Wednesday. Um, when I'm posting on Instagram, mm -hmm. it puts the picture right in the middle. So there's equal like blank space above and below. And I can't seem to move the picture manually down or up so that when I put the text, it's not all bunched together. And then there's a big blank space at either the top or bottom. On Instagram specifically? Yeah, I, I, I load, uploaded the picture, but then it puts it in the middle of the page and I can't drag or move it up, up to the top or down to the bottom to make room for the text. Well, the text always appears underneath, right? Just like this. When you post, hmm. right? I must be I must be doing it in a different fashion that's causing this problem. I because I upload the picture first and then I pasted the text. I always upload the picture as well and then paste as well. Okay, but let's say you don't like it specifically, go here and change the dimensions. Okay, I, would I see how it's in the middle? There's equal white space above and below. I wanted to drag it down so I could make room for the text above it, and then it would. You don't need you know. to make room for the text. That, that's not what it looks like in the finished product. That's the process of Instagram. Just keep yeah, going next. Right. Well, I've done it like four or five times, and it keeps coming out the same way. Where it, it, it what's your Instagram? Karen dot Wilder dot thirty three. No, those. Those are those are my I manually made those. I don't see the one I just the ones I just made today. Okay, text on top, text on top, text on top. I don't see I don't no, see any those are, all, those are all man, those are all my making. I, those are not AIs. So that's my photos. That's not that's my Instagram saved page. That's not like current. Is there another page? Not today's you? post. It's not showing today's post. That those are that's like my saved file, my cache. I, I would try to we'd post still be able to go and see today's post though. <laughs> and then in the phone app, is there a way to make it longer or shorter and edit button? Not yet, no. Not yet. Okay. I just thought maybe I was missing it. Okay, I'll keep playing around with it. Thank you. Thanks, Dorothy. Uh or thanks, Karen. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's no place like home. There's no <laughs> place like Are you on? Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just had a quick question about um, with the new AI on the Android. I normally use the iPhone, but I, I'm on the Android since that's the only place for the app for the AI. Uh, and when I try to create a social post there on LinkedIn, I'm getting an error message. And I've been able to, uh, to post on Facebook, but not on LinkedIn. Um, uh, anybody else experience an error when they post on LinkedIn from their Android? Anyone? I haven't done it yet. Okay. I was just trying it this morning while we were on and you were talking about it. So I just noticed it. So maybe I have to go in and do some changes to the settings or something. I'm not really that used to Android. So I was just wondering. I would screenshot it though. Maybe send it to our support at now.site. Maybe they can help you. Okay. I did. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, the other question that I had was on my laptop. When I go into uh, my prospects, and I click on prospects. It says fail to load your prospects. Please refresh the page and try again. Well, what is your email address? Amazing. It's A M A Y E S I N G Ventures. Wait, wait. Can you spell it again? A M A Y E S I N G Ventures. B E N T U R E S at Gmail. This is inside of your account. Is it here? Yes. And what so does it say? When I click on prospects, I'm here. Up across at the top from targeting. Where? Uh, there. I click on prospects. I get that. Okay. 
Uh, so basically what it's saying is your past, pro have you been prospecting previously? It says you received zero. Right, I've attempted to, but I haven't gotten anything. So what you do in order to get a prospect is click, get a prospect. I did. Okay, uh, no results found. Let's see, we got United States, travel, get rid of online marketing as an industry. Um, no need, we're just narrowing it down. So there we go. There's your prospect. Okay. And then any prospect that you get by hitting the pink button will go inside of the prospect section. Okay. Cool. Take that. Thank you. I just, I just posted to LinkedIn from my Android. Okay. Yeah, I would take a screenshot then, Dorothy, and find out uh, what's happening. Okay. okay. Thank you guys so much. Lots of great, great, great questions. We remember we have fun mandatory affiliate training tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time right here. Same exact link. We have lots of great announcements to make for you all. You can join me again for how to Tuesday and how to Wednesday, every Tuesday and Wednesday, where I'll answer any question that you have live. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Great, great, great questions today. And can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Cheryl.